Hello everyone, this is Shaq from Shaq's Hacks and today I'm going to have a look at this Bose SoundLink Flex Bluetooth speaker. It's the first time that I'm actually impressed with a Bose Bluetooth speaker and this is why I'm going to tear it down and have a look inside. So the first thing I need to do is remove the front grille, this bit here. And for that, I need to follow two steps. Step one is to warm up the front grille here to a temperature that allows me to peel off the front plate. But unfortunately, the front plate is also held by eight clips. Three at the top here, three here, and one on each side. I'll show you what they look like. I don't know if you can see it. And basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go behind it and lift it off one by one. But before I do that, there is some uh, sticky glue right here and another strip right here. And I'm going to use a thermometer so I know how much heat uh, I've applied to the plastic. And now I'm going to try and, and clip them one by one and then pull the plate this way. Let's see how the first one goes. Right, that seems to be okay. Also, I have to do it quickly enough so the, the speaker doesn't cool down again. Yeah, got some grip here at the bottom. You can see it's starting to come off, and like I said, it's just basically glue holding it. Can you see it? Okay, now I can use my hand. If you can hear it as well, but it's kind of warm, warm, sticky glue. Right, as you can see, the, the sticky glue is at the bottom, at the top, which just came off here. And yeah, that's it. Bottom and top strips. And the clips are these ones. As you can see, they're quietly bent. But what I'm going to do at the end is, just with some pliers, just adjust them again. And they should be okay to go again. That's the grill again from the front. Alright, so this is the speaker cleaned. Now I'm going to open up the screws. So I'll first open the speaker screws. And they are a Torx type. And the bit that I'm using is a T9. I'm using this type of screwdriver because the screws are very tight. Screws are extremely long, not sure what they're trying to hold down. So here's the driver, the main one. That's the serial number. Quite a, a large magnet at the back. Right, so the speaker goes all the way to the main board. Sorry, I, I, I nearly laughed. It's actually is soldered uh, straight away to the main board. Um, I'm lost for words. But it should be a connector to the board for easy replacement. All right, so let's open this up and have a look inside. Ok, 
can't believe how long the screws are. I mean, look how deep the speaker is and look how long the screw is. Right, I'm just going to try and uh, pull out the front cover. So, you can see the passive radiator here. Nice and flexible and it's a very long throw. Held by Torx screws as well, which is always good to see. So the second passive radiator is here. It's exactly the same as the other one. And as I mentioned, everything is soldered to the main board, including this panel here. On the left here, we can see the mic. And I can see inside there, there's the battery. I'm just going to remove the board first so we can get to the battery. Finally managed to remove this screw. Right, let's remove the board. Gotta be careful because the USB-C port is on that side. Right, so there's the battery in there. I'm just going to zoom in. But feel free to pause it and have a look at the other details. Uh, the main things I can see is the brand Inventus Power. The voltage is 3.67 and capacity is 3100 mAh. There's one massive capacitor here on the left. 16 volts. There is a QR code on the main board in there. Again, feel free to pause. And I'll show the full barcode. Like that. The other thing to notice is which looks like it's the DAC chip. So I believe that's the DAC inside. Can't see much, so can't confirm any letters or numbers, but if you can see it, that's good. The components and soldering look like they are of great quality. Great job from Bose. So now that we got to the last screw, right now that I got to the last screw, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play some music and test the speaker on free air and see how it behaves. I have noticed that I can actually put the board through instead of the speaker so we can free it. Right, so this is the speaker now with all the components, speaker, battery, main board, everything is here. Let's play some music and listen to it. I'm just going to connect it to my Bluetooth speaker. Ready to connect another device. Let's see if you can see it come up on the list. Oh, it's at the bottom here. Right, okay, so it's connected now. I'm trying to figure out which one is the volume up. It's not that one. It's going totally bonkers. It's quite powerful. It's uh, honestly, I'm holding it in my hand to start with. It's quite heavy. It's, it's heavy, and I said uh, earlier, the magnet is quite large for for what the speaker is. So pretty impressive. All right, now I'm just going to put the speaker back inside its case. All right, I'm going to put it back together. But please do remember to put the board through 
the whole of the front cover first put the battery in a little bit first so it takes its place and then slowly and steadily we put the USB port here and now we're just going to put the screws back in so there are three one here one here and one over here okay I'm just going to try the buttons make sure they work so they seem to click in absolutely fine so while waiting for my mp3 player to launch I'm just going to put the speaker back on the driver shall I say okay and there is a way to know where to put it back and can you see this groove here that's where the terminals go The buttons work absolutely fine, so I'm just going to finish off with the screws. I'll put the music back on. Right now it's nice and tight, we're going to play some music. Yeah. 
Now to the final part, putting the grill back on. So if you remember from the beginning, I had to bend these clips here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bend them back and using pliers. But at the same time, I'm going to use a soft cloth so I don't scratch the clips. Right, so you can see the pins now. I'll put them back where they were. Right, that's it. Still have some sticky tape here and the clips will do the job as well. Make sure I'm putting it the right way around and not upside down. Alright guys, so I finished putting it all together just how it was initially. I'm going to score the difficulty level of tearing it down and putting it back together compared to other speakers as probably an 8.5 out of 10. It was it was quite awkward, there, there was no screws, there was lots of tape and difficulty getting to the areas around where you had to open it because it was covered with rubber all around. If you want the full review on the Bose and I'll also compare it to other Bluetooth speakers, please uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll be uploading these very soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on another one. Bye!